Good afternoon, everybody. Well, it's a great pleasure to be back with you again for the second time today and for the fourth year or whatever it has been. Today, you have heard about the challenges facing Israel, uh, the region, and the pro-Israeli community here uh, in America. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Jewish state is that despite all of the challenges that it faces and has faced, it looks for ways to improve itself, the human condition, and the world. More than 60 years ago, Israel's Prime Minister Golda Meir saw an opportunity to share Israel's knowledge and expertise with the emerging democracies in Africa. Soon, their friendships there were manifested in a number of fields, from medicine and agriculture to defense and construction of infrastructure. Today, these relationships, these friendships between Israel and many African nations are growing and are more important than ever. So to discuss this relationship and perhaps tell you some information that you didn't realize about this uh, and the implications for Africa, Israel, and the world is the man who's helping to lead efforts behind an historic Africa-Israel summit hosted by the Republic of Togo this coming fall. Please join me in offering a warm, warm welcome to the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Togo, Robert Ducey. Thank you, Frank. Welcome. Welcome to Washington. Welcome to, the, to this amazing event. Yeah, thank you. Um, you're very, uh, very interesting, and I want to talk about much, but I'd like to start with a little bit of background about you, because you are very interesting. You shared with me backstage that you actually have a very deep personal attachment to Israel. You've been there very recently, but it goes well beyond your role as foreign minister. Uh, you discussed this monastery that you studied in as part of a congregation which prayed for the peace of Jerusalem every day and kept Shabbat every weekend. Have I got that right? Yes, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> I like to, if you let me tell uh, uh, Shalom Iran for a public. I, I would like to, uh, to express my, my profound gratitude for the welcome the IPAC uh, staff in, uh, uh, in Washington, D.C. We are very happy to, uh, to be here with you because we thank... Are you having trouble hearing? I'm hearing that can you speak yeah. up just a bit, I think. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, 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 are, we are very happy to, to be here with you. We, we thank uh, the IPAC uh, convention today is a very good uh, initiative for us in Africa. In Africa, particularly in Togo, we are with you. We are with the state of Israel. So tell, tell, <laughs> tell us a little bit about this congregation where you're praying for the peace of Israel and keeping Shabbat. Yes, I was a Franciscan border, like you know. I was a monk of a Catholic community. The name is the community of uh, Beatitude. And we pray every year, every day for uh, peace in Israel. We pray every year and we celebrate every, uh, every weekend the Shabbat uh, because uh, our community has inspiration of the uh, Jewish roots of Christianity. And uh, if you want, I don't know if you, you understand the Hebrew. Uh, you <laughs> every, <laughs> every, 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 every Friday, we, we sing uh, the Hebrew song. You sing? I think so. I think so. If you want, <laughs> uh, we have, for example, Shema Israel Adonai Lorinu Adonai Ra. Shema Israel Adonai Lorinu Adonai Ra. Shema Israel Adonai Lorinu Adonai Ra. Shema Israel Adonai Lorenu Adonai Ra. You see? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I think I know why you're a foreign minister now, because you sure can win over a crowd. Of course, yeah. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about 
the Africa-Israel relationship and this summit. And this is the uh, document that you gave me uh, on the Africa-Israel summit, Building Bridges Toward Greater and Shared Prosperity. You turn in page one, and it says, Africa is undergoing an extraordinary resurgence. And it says, Israel has become an economic powerhouse. Tell us about the summit and why you have put this together. Uh, thank you. We will host uh, the next October in Togo, the first African and Israel summit. Uh, the, uh, the question is, why Israel? You have to know in Africa, we have a lot of uh, partnership with uh, the country like China. We have the summit between Africa and China, Africa and Japan, Afri Africa and India. We never have the summit between Africa and Israel. My president's choice is uh, Israel is very important for us because Togo and Israel have a very long history. We, for us, uh, you know, in the Middle East, Israel is like a pearl of, uh, of uh, Middle East area in to, uh, for us in Togo. That's why we think we need to have the connection the political connection, the diplomatic connection, and the economic connection between Africa and Israel, of course, between Togo and Israel, is the is reason of our summit. And who will be at the summit? How many heads of state who's attending? We are expecting 25 or 30 head of state, uh, African head of state, with the Prime Minister of Israel, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, what, what's the, what is the purpose and what are the goals uh, of this summit? The purpose is simple. Africa is booming right now. We think Israel has the solution of African uh, development. We need, uh, I, I said before, we need, uh, it, it will be the political, diplomatic, and economic, and economic summit. For economic, we will receive, for example, the Israel businessmen. They are coming in Africa. I think it's a possibility for them to invest in the African continent. Africa is 54 countries. For the investment is very important. About politics, we need to continue to strengthen our uh, bilateral relation with Israel. And uh, uh, diplomatic uh, trade is simple. Uh, if you want, uh, in the international uh, community, Israel needs the African support. Because we think Israel is, is like just the, the one country in Middle East area. We need to support Israel. We need to work with Israel for his position in the world. Well, let me ask you about that because there's something very recent that, where you've demonstrated that. Just this past Friday at the United Nations, the human rights Council introduced five anti-Israel resolutions, and aside from the United States, Togo was the only country to vote against all five. <laughs> you have a slightly supportive audience here. <laughs> Why? Why did Togo vote the way it did? Uh, of course. Togo, I say Togo and Israel has a very particular uh, uh, relation. We support Israel because we think Israel needs our support in the world. Right now, if you see in UN or UNESCO, another organization, or African United uh, Commission, we don't have the same position for Israel. The last week in Geneva, a lot of countries vote against Israel. We say no, it's not, it's, it's like, it's unfair. It's unfair. Yeah. Because when you see why, it's not justified. That's why the Togolese decision is we have to support Israel, we vote for Israel, and Togo, like you say, is uh, only uh, African country with uh, USA uh, vote uh, against this, uh, this resolution. And we are very proud for our vote because we think uh, Israel people uh, need our, uh, our support 
in the international community. You, you've, you've spoken about the, the, the growth of sort of the Africa-Israel relationship which you're trying to lead. And I'm wondering what you think the outcome might be of that growing relationship and support in Africa for Israel on the treatment of Israel, the regard of some of these issues in, world, in these world bodies. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I think uh, uh, our position in Togo is uh, we, want, we want to share our position with all African country position. Uh, let me tell you something about uh, the summit. If we need this summit, it's because, like the last week, Togo was uh, the only African countries. We need, after this uh, summit, African and Israel summit in Togo, we want to, to create the club or create maybe this African group with Israel. African group leaders have to, who have to support Israel position. The next year, if we, we do it, for example, this year, if we have another vote against Israel, Togo won't be alone. Togo will be with the another African country and to support Israel position. And we think it's very, very important for, Af for, for Israel people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you gotten pushback, significant pushback, for hosting the summit? Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me tell you, don't worry, like, uh, uh, like, like, uh, like Charles, so, uh, like Charles, so yeah, we are ready to defend Israel. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask you this finally. What role do you see the United States playing at the summit? Will it be there? Yeah. What are the implications for the United States with a scenario of improving relationships between Israel and Africa? Yes, we need, uh, we need the United States uh, implication in this summit. Uh, last week, we voted together with the United States against the resolution. Uh, but we think uh, we need the relation between, Af uh, between the United States, Africa, and Israel. It's very important because we, we think we have Israel in the Middle East. If we have the support, the, U the USA support and the African support, it will be very, very uh, good for Israel people and for us in Africa because we don't want to, to stay alone to continue to support Israel. We want another country, another important country like USA to support uh, Israel too. And I think with the support with uh, our friend in IPEC, we can work together, USA, Africa, uh, with uh, Israel people. Uh, last, last question, a uh, personal diplomatic question. Yes. Your strong sense and your connection and determination to bring Israel and Africa together, where does that come from? Why are you so personally invested in this? I think uh, it's just because my, my connection with uh, Israel is beyond religious, is a religious engagement. I told you here, here uh, I, was, uh, I pray with Israel, I pray with peace in Jerusalem with Israel, and this connection is a personal connection, is a personal engagement for, uh, for Israel people. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I so appreciate Thanks. your time and good luck. Summit sounds fascinating. If uh, you need a moderator in October, I'm happy to come to Lomé. You know, yeah, this is good. I, I, I'm <laughs> volunteering. Okay, good luck in everything, and please join me in thanking the Foreign Minister thank you. of Togo. Yeah. Thanks.